Rock Guys would like to welcome Rick Rule. Hey, man, what's up? What's going on? Man, hanging out in Memphis. What's up? Wow, Memphis. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> you know, you stopping by Elvis's place? Uh, down the road a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we go by there every once in a while. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Now, you got a new album coming out, Grind, on How Valve Music, uh, Mr. Chavis. Um, how'd you hook up with him? Man, uh, I met Bill uh, a long time ago. We played, uh, I can't even remember what year it was, but uh, we played a, uh, a Rocklahoma, and he was there, and we had met him, and we'd been friends. For years after that, just talked to each other, and um, we were going to do a uh, a record a while back, but it just didn't work out. And right. uh, I put this little, uh, I put the uh, five song EP of Grind out uh, like two years ago, I guess. And he got a hold of it and called me and said, "Man, let's do a full length record." And uh, so we did. <laughs> cool. cool, cool. So you you recorded uh, three brand new tracks. How was it going back into the studio to you know record new songs? Well, it's uh, the recording process is a lot different than the old day. You know, you just set up in a room and it was kind of like live, and you play it and play it till you till you hit it. And uh, you know, nowadays there's all kind of stuff. You know, um, the drum we got in there, and the drummer went in first and laid down the track, and then you just come in and build off of it. And, uh, right. It's uh, definitely a different process. It's very cool because uh, it gives you a you know when you recording, you know, you get to hear the stuff broke down so much. It gave you gives you a bunch of ideas for right. for different things, different melodies. And, uh, it was a great experience, you know, because, like I said, we were old school. We just used to go in there and fire up and grip it and rip it, you know. Right. So, very cool. Wow. How, how much is the uh, music industry from uh, recording back in the day until now? Uh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably 180 degrees different, you know. Uh, right. The Internet the internet's changed everything, you know, and... Uh, to me, I mean, a lot of people give it a, you know, they say it's kind of maybe swamped with too much stuff, but I think, you know, in the back in the day, you had to, you know, you had to sort of like have a ballad to be valid and, and stuff like that. You right. Know, you kind of got, you kind of got pinched into just listening to one kind of thing, and I think the internet's turned people on to, there's so much great stuff out there from punk to, you know, everything, uh, it's just so, uh, it's wide open good is good and uh, you can find it you know you're not just getting everything handed to you right and saying this is all there is so i think it's i think it's pretty neat uh it's definitely a lot different you know <laughs> uh, what was your original um you know why'd you go into music man uh my mom took me to see i was cooking with her and i didn't go to because she was a rock and roller and uh i was pretty much sold after that my uncle was a drummer before that and uh he was a traditional drummer, so he played just about everything. And, um, you know, I just was always, my uncle worked for Charlie Daniels for 29 years. Um, you know, I was just always around it. And just, uh, you know, it's a release. If I don't write something or do something musically every couple of weeks, my people that I live with want to kill me. So that's <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, I, it's just always been a part of me, something I, I love a whole lot, you know. Right, yeah. How was it uh, working with Jim Dandy? Jim Dandy's uh, awesome, man. Uh, for him to even give us the time of day is, you know, as many things as he's done. And as long as he's been around, uh, you know, he came in the studio. and I had this little song, you know, it was a kind of a little redneck, just a, just a little rock and roll song. And uh, he came in and listened to it and was digging it. And he listened to it down like three times and jumped up on the mic. And I just let him have it, do what he wanted. And uh, it was awesome, man, you know. <laughs> wow, wow. Um I know. I know you start your tour. I think September twenty fourth in Florida, right? And yeah. Where does that take you from there after Florida? We go. Uh, we go to Florida, and then we come back to Memphis, and we do a fortieth anniversary party with Brent Michaels, Tora Tora, and Roxy Blue, and Under the Radar, I think. Uh, and then after that, we go do some shows with Kicks. I think we're doing Detroit, um, and then I think we're going up into Canada and coming back down. And then uh, as far as the rest of it, they've been sending me dates, but they keep changed, so I don't know what is valid and what is not. Right, Up yeah. until they're uh, up until November 4th, I know for sure that we'll be with Kicks in Detroit, so. Right, yeah. Wow, well, uh, and uh, um, the disc is coming out on vinyl, right? Yeah, man, I can't believe it. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it kind of kicked back to old school, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and isn't like like a, a greenish color. 
that yeah, the, the they sent me the proof of it the other day. The album right is is green, and uh, I was like, man, it's going to look cool on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know, it, it seems like vinyl's really making a push now. Man, I think so. You know, I don't know. You know, everybody you talk to me back in the day listening to a record is you know even with the little the little pops and the air scratches and stuff in it. Man, it just sounds it just sounds different. It's uh. Uh, it's just a daggone, uh It's just a crazy, loopy thing, man. Uh, I, I don't think they ought to be printing on nothing but vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I don't even know where to find a needle anymore for vinyl, but <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You know, you probably have to go on eBay to find it or something. You that's know? what I was saying. I, I've got a turntable. I said I need a needle for it. I don't even know where to start. Oh man! But uh, we'll yeah. figure something out. <laughs> yeah, that's that, 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 uh, pretty wild. That uh, it's making a comeback. I, I actually like the vinyl a lot, a lot better anyway. So. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, it, it, you can hit it and it'll go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and then you have it for a long time, and you, you know, you put it back on. You hear all the crackles, and then you reminisce of, you know, I listened to this when I was this age, and <laughs> you know, I just hold on to it, and uh, it's uh, amazing, you know. It's and, a beautiful thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. So, with this new album, do you have any goals or hopes, uh, you know, that you wish for? My man, I just uh, you know if uh, if people get it and uh, and listen to it, it's you know it's all from the gut. It's everything we uh, everything we do is something we live, what we play, and play what we live. You know, see, and uh, you know it's all real. It's either something that's happened to you know something close to the band, or you know it's just all gut. It's real, and you know it's nothing. Just like I'm like I can't write songs about just partying or you know just making up stuff. It's got to be true to life. So. If a couple of people get it and dig it, and uh, you know, if ten people show up to the show and they dig it, then I'm into it. So that's you know, that's where I'm at with it. Cool, cool. So, what do you? Uh, what's the band doing for the rest of the year? Man, we're just uh, playing and trying to do as many things. We're trying to get a video shot for uh, Swing Again. I think that's our next our next uh, goal. Right. Uh, and uh, you know, just keep on keeping what we do. You know, we try to play. Even if we're not on the road, we try to play, uh, you know, just rehearse or write two or three times a week because uh, it's just what we do. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you do in your spare time? Do you have any spare time? Uh, I have a I have a couple of hours on Sunday morning when I, when I have it, uh, nothing to do. But I get I used to race motorcycles. I used to road race motorcycles. So right. That's my that's my one run. I get out on Sunday and I go out in the country and just. Go as fast and as idiocy as I can, and uh, wow, cool! <laughs> and, uh, but it's it's uh, you know it's just a uh, it's a uh, sort of like writing a song, you know. Right. Wow. Wow. Well, so um, you know, congratulations on the new album, Grind, on High Vol Thank you, man. Music, and uh, you know, I wish you the best. Would you like to say anything to the fans out there? Man, just come and hang out and uh, have an open mind and just grip it and rip it, man. That's all we're doing. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. All right, brother. Bye-bye.